Some of Hunter's meetings abroad were with billionaire oligarchs in Moscow and political leaders from countries like Yugoslavia, the Ivory Coast, and my home country, at least my ancestral homeland of Romania. Uh, some of whom, some of those dictators known to be seeking favor from his father and the administration. Are we still supposed to believe that President Biden wasn't the so-called big guy? Party panel is back. Uh, Miranda Devine, obviously an expert on this. She has written the book, Laptop from Hell. More and more is coming out from that laptop. Miranda, are you surprised that, that people still, some of them aren't paying attention to how serious the implications are from these? Look, it's really just falling on deaf ears at the moment. The White House has just decided to stonewall. Joe Biden's obviously decided that he's just not going to address any of this, even though he's been shown up time and time again to have lied about his knowledge of Hunter's business dealings overseas, to say the least. Um, but I think that there's going to come a moment when they're no longer be able, being, going to be able to ignore it. But when that happens, we don't know. The grand jury in Delaware has been investigating Hunter Biden now for four years mm -hmm. for money laundering, tax evasion and also allegations of foreign agent violations. Uh, we were expecting after a flurry of activity last year when this grand jury convened, was hearing evidence from his former business partners, his former lovers, mm -hmm. uh, we expected that there would be some indictment, uh, it, it, you know, coming up at some point soon. But it looks to me as if they're slow walking it at least until after the midterms. Uh, in a couple of weeks, it'll be 90 days before the midterms, and that will give an excuse for David Weiss, the US attorney in Delaware, he's done this before, to basically put proceedings on hold uh, to ensure that there's no political taint, there's no uh, contamination with the election mm -hmm. or, or, the, or politics with the investigation. Um, but but, yeah, you know, again, it's just very convenient for the Democrats. And then after the midterms, you're going to have the Republicans going in their hell for leather, um, doing investigations, subpoenaing everybody, dragging in Hunter and all his former business partners. I think then the Democrats were, may use it as an excuse Hunter and the laptop to actually dislodge a president who's so unpopular that he's now an albatross. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't, I haven't neck. heard uh, that postulated in the past that you know this could become the, the perfect liability to uh, take the president out of office because he certainly has been lying about it the whole time. Um, so, Juan, codependency is a hell of a drug. We all know that, and we all know there are a lot of parents out there whose kids are suffering, and they'll do whatever they can to help them, including Joe Biden, who uh, wired Hunter twenty thousand for rehab, uh, but he ended up giving thousands, up to 30,000 to Russian escorts. Uh, one of the most troubling things in this new stack of missives, uh, the uh, implication that he didn't pay a Russian escort named Eva, and he owes her at least five grand. Did Hunter Biden stiff a Russian hooker? What a way to put it, Kennedy. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> but I do think that what Miranda <laughs> says is, you know, look, we still are waiting to have actual evidence. Uh, we still are waiting on the grand jury. So, look, Hunter Biden's a very troubled person. I think he's written about drug addiction. Recently, we've seen evidence where he's rude to his dad, to his stepmom. Oh, he was horrible uh, to Dr. Jill. People... Right. So he's trying, you know, I think, the, I think President Biden and Mrs. Biden have tried to help what is a troubled son, troubled stepson. Uh, but we don't have any evidence that President Biden, Vice President Biden, Senator Biden ever was meeting with these questionable <laughs> yes, characters, business do. characters involved yes, with. Do. We have. I don't think yes, he's no, it's, not, well, you gotta, not you gotta meeting go back and read the notes. It's all in there. We, we, we well, do. Unfortunately, I think that there, he, there were specific... I, I think the suggestion is that he's talking to his dad about this, but no, no, did, no, he, did the dad ever go, profit? Would go we have no evidence of that. With the oligarch, and the oligarch uh, magically would show up at the Naval Observatory like a half hour later. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty clear. This is cro cronyism, isn't it, Spike? 10% for the big guy. Um, listen, I think that uh, I think you're right. I think some of this might be that uh, Joe Biden's just trying to protect his son. And I understand that. I mean, here you have the man who wrote the 1994 crime bill. And we've all seen that at this point, probably all seen that video of Hunter Biden weighing what was just a tremendous 
a tremendous amount of crack to have all at once there. Uh, and uh, that was enough crack to put m many, many Americans in prison for the rest of their lives. Yeah. He'll Good never point. be held accountable for that. I think it's very unlikely he'll ever be held accountable for the rest of this. But frankly, I think we're getting mad at Hunter. We should be getting mad at the system that allows someone like Hunter. Hunter Biden is the personification of the end result of cronyism. Here is someone who has never had to actually provide value in his life. All he does is capitalize on his personal connection, familial connections mm. to uh, make money for himself, to enrich himself, yep. to be able to live this hedonist lifestyle uh, with no accountability. He's never held accountable uh, for anything. He has relationships with crony corporations here and across the world, uh, with foreign regimes, with foreign governments and officials. Uh, you know, I say don't hate the don't cracked forget, out player. Don't hate forget the Eva out and her foreign regime. We don't, we don't know if he ever paid the poor dear. All right, party panel, thank you so much for being here. Miranda, Juan, and Spike, always a lovely and smart conversation.